Astronomy is a very interesting field, and we humans have been curious about astronomy for many centuries. So it's normal that some of the things which are said about astronomy or telescopes are completely made up and wrong. So today we will see the most common myths which people believe about astronomy, and especially about telescopes. 1. The first myth is Galileo invented the telescope. Most people think that Galileo was the first to invent the telescope, and that's completely false. The telescope was invented in the Netherlands in 1608 by Lytton's maker Hans Lippershey. They made an instrument that they were hoping to sell to the government for military use. The first telescope magnified the image three times. Lippershey was the first one to apply for the patent of the telescope. After Lippershey applied, two other lens makers, Janssen and Matthias, applied for the patent. Their application was rejected. When Galileo heard about the instrument, he used that instrument to point it towards the sky to look at objects through it. So Galileo was the first one to do so. Maybe because of this, he gets credit for inventing the telescope. 2. Polaris has always been the North Star If you live in the Northern Hemisphere and use an equatorial mount, then you use Polaris as a reference star to set up your mount. The thing is, Polaris is not going to be the North Star forever. The Earth wobbles on the axis it spins. It changes by one degree every 72 years. Over a period of 26,000 years, that causes our planet's axis to draw a big circle in the northern sky. You should watch this video on the channel to know more about Polaris. 3. The Moon Cannot Be Seen During the Daytime This is quite a misconception among new astronomers or for most people who are not into astronomy. The thing is, the moon can be seen during the daytime as well. During the day, the sun's brightness dominates the sky, so you can't see the stars during the daytime, and the same goes for the moon, but you can observe the moon during the daytime. But when the moon is at 180 degrees with respect to the sun, then you cannot see the moon during daytime. 4. The highest useful magnification is 50 times per inch of aperture. When you have a small telescope, then it might give quite good views even at 100 times magnification. When you have a large telescope, then it might not give you 50% per inch. Large telescopes also magnify the atmospheric disturbances, so at the top, it will give better views at 20% to 30% magnification per inch. 5. It is impossible to view the sun through the telescope you normally see. If you have a normal telescope, then you should not look directly at the sun through your telescope, otherwise you will end up permanently damaging your eyesight. You can see the sun through a normal telescope with solar filters. You can also see the sun through a solar telescope. We have explained this topic in detail, and you should watch this video if you want to know more. 6. Magnification is the factor you should consider when judging a telescope. Usually, people think magnification is the factor they should consider when buying a telescope. The most important thing you should consider while buying a telescope is the aperture. For example, if a telescope is showing you a very poor image of an object, then even if you magnify that image, it will still show you a poor magnified image. Magnification was not helpful in this case. If your telescope collects enough light, the images it will show will be crisp and bright. To collect more light, aperture is the most important parameter. So if you choose a telescope according to its magnification, then you'll end up buying an inefficient telescope. You should watch this video to know more about the aperture of a telescope. 7. The Dobsonian telescope doesn't even look like a telescope, so it may not be good. It is true that the Dobsonian telescope doesn't look like a conventional telescope, but Dobsonian telescopes are one of the most value-for-money telescopes. And if you're a beginner who's on a tight budget, Dobsonian telescopes will provide you with everything on a smaller budget. The shape of the telescope will not affect the results you see with that telescope. You should watch this video to learn everything about the Dobsonian telescopes. 8. Amateur astronomers cannot contribute to astronomy If you're a beginner or intermediate level astronomer, then you might think that all the objects you see are already discovered and information about them is available. But this may not be the case. Also, many research astronomers do not have enough time to look through the telescope for new objects such as comets. So you as a beginner or amateur astronomer can find new objects or any new thing you find about existing objects. 
After that, you can submit your findings to the American Association of Variable Star Observers Organization. The aim of this organization is to allow anyone on the planet to participate in scientific discovery for astronomy. You'll find a link to this organization's website in the description. So if you enjoy finding new objects while stargazing, then your work can get scientific recognition. If you liked this video, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.